when we started with with the group home development when I started here in in seventy six uh, the movement to group homes was was fairly fairly new in Indiana it had come to us from Sweden and and overseas and was starting throughout the United States and you had two populations of people. Uh, you had people who lived in the state institutions and you had people who lived at home. And living here in Fort Wayne and having the Fort Wayne State Developmental Center in our backyard, we were concerned about both groups. Um, there were, when I started in, in Allen County, there were something like 2,500 individuals living in the Fort Wayne State Developmental Center. We went to Indianapolis and, and said, let's do a pilot project. And so we were a part of the pilot project and, and um, I think we had approval for 10 homes, eight homes the first couple of years and, and those really kicked off and, and uh, worked out very well. People were happier. Uh, families were happy for the most part. And the people coming out of the state institutions um, came out and having lived where they lived, it took them um, a year or a year and a half to get acclimated to being more free not having the regimental regimen that they would in the developmental center. And so quite often when, when they moved into the group home, um, you know, in, in a short period of time, you would see people who had what were identified in the institution, severe behaviors or problems, couldn't get along with so-and-so or whatever, just become very, open. I mean, just it was night and day. Some of the early challenges that we had with opening group homes was the the regulations of the communities that and they had zoning practices and um, they would fight the fact that you were going to have four, six, or eight people living together who were not married. And we had to work against that um, for several years and, and as, as a result of some of that we went to state legislature, we went to the national um, on, on political basis and, and parents talked to legislature, legislators and at both levels we got legislation that took care of those zoning issues which made it much easier for us to get group homes in, in any neighborhood, but in, in the early days, and, and we opened up, I don't know, three or four or five before the, the easier road became possible, and we would have to meet with, with uh, neighborhood associations and get them to buy into uh, signing off on allowing us to build a group home or to buy a home and turn it into a group home in, in a neighborhood. And, and one of the most effective challenges that we ever had from, from a neighborhood is we set up a meeting, we had we'd identified a house, uh, we wanted to buy it on the northeast side of town, and we made an uh, appointment to meet with the neighborhood association planned to do it at a little restaurant that had a back room so that we could have coffee and tea and that kind of thing. And their attorney just said to them, well, one of the most effective ways for you to fight this is just don't show up. And not a soul came. And we, we couldn't change an attitude. And consequently, we didn't buy that house. Uh, we, we could have fought it. But I made the decision that I didn't want to go into the neighborhood where those attitudes were so prevalent that it would be a problem forever. The majority of the time, if, if we, we met with a neighborhood association, we talked about what we were doing, we talked 
and answered the questions about property values. We answered the questions about what if and, and do we have to worry about just crazy things that, that they had in their minds. That <laughs> I got a call from a neighborhood association and it happened to be a gentleman that, uh, that worked at the Fort Wayne National Bank that I knew. And he, he was saying, Steve, he said, you know, just three houses down the road, there's a Cadillac that sits in a driveway. And I said, well, I think that's really important because I've got a new van that's going to be sitting there and I don't want to be in a, a sloppy neighborhood. <laughs> and and he, he just... Uh, uh, he didn't quite know how to respond, and, and I didn't get mad. I, I didn't. I just said, that's really great. We, we want that kind of neighborhood. <laughs>